Well, here comes Amy Rose. Some of you might actually recognise her. She appeared on our site sort of almost just over 12 months ago, about the same sort of time as I started. So it's actually quite nice to see her again, really. She's a 42-foot cruiser built in 1995 by Peter Nichols. Peter Nichols also did the fit out. So she's fitted out in oak face ply with oak trim. The current owner has painted various parts of the boat inside, which you'll see shortly. So she benefits from a blacking in April 2021. There were six new anodes put on in 2016, which were still deemed satisfactory at the blacking. There was also a hull survey conducted in April 2021 as well. That is available for viewing in the office. So solar panel on the roof, we've estimated that as 120 watts. And there is a Victron Smart solar controller, which was new in June 2021 at the same time as the solar panel as well. So it's had a little bit of refurbishment, some upgrades while the current owner has had her, which is nice. It's lockers either side of the well deck. Well deck is four feet, got the gas in here. It's two 3.9 kilogram bottles in the bow locker. Got storage either side in those lockers. We've got the glazed forward doors, glazed forward bulkhead as well. Allow, allows lots of light in, you can see the windows there and then in we go to the saloon saloon is eight foot six long head height on her is six foot two and the lighting is halogen throughout the boat so this lovely bench along the side here that converts into a spare double nice comfy space these tassels hanging below the windows they're the sort of curtains to block out light as well storage underneath two drawers cupboard in this corner that's a tv aerial point so you can plug your tv in there for your 12 volt power nice big cupboard forward steps which i thought lifted up but i think the whole thing lifts up yeah there we are so that gives you access underneath there under the well deck there's more storage space inside it's a clever use of that space and then the more so squirrel stove Two little folding chairs there. This is quite nice. It's reminiscent of a sort of boatman's cabin table, but much bigger. So you've got a dining table and some shelves behind. Makes clever use of the space without having to uh, have a gate leg table take up room if you want a sort of dining table. Storage below that. As I said, very reminiscent of a boatman's cabin. and into the galley. It's covered on this side. The galley is six feet long. There is a laminate worktop. It's 12 volt fridge, which we'll look at in a second. So vanette, four burner gas hob, oven and grill. Nice size sink, couple of shelves over that. Decent amount of storage in this galley. There's a little drawer here, and then a very large cupboard that goes into the corner space making great use of all the available space which is what you need on a 42 foot it's a fancy decorated 12 volt fridge not sure of the brand on that one and another look down the galley and saloon bathroom is off corridor so you go down here and then it's just tucked inside here. Bathroom is four foot six. The shower is recessed into the sub floor with the shower over. There is also a curtain pole, but there's just not a curtain. Ceramic basin and a Thetford porta potty cube. There is a spare cassette for that as well. There's a couple of shelves there on the way out. The bedroom is seven foot eight. It's got this fold down cross bed. The bed turns into a six foot two by four foot six cross bed, nice, neat, neatly stores away. That panel does also fold back under the mattress if you don't want it up. Shelf above the bed and a couple of reading lights. At the aft end, oh no, drawers first, drawers under the bed. The chlorophyll is also under the bed. That is heated by the engine. At the aft end of the boat, you've got another cupboard I suppose you could put another TV there if you ran the cables to it as well, if you wanted a TV in the bedroom. 
The inverter is a Trace DR series, 1600 watt inverter charger under that step and a nice full height wardrobe. Out we go on to the cruiser stern deck. Cruiser stern is 7 foot 2. The engine is housed below. That's a Beta Marine Cabalta BV1308. It's 38 horsepower. Pretty tidy in here. It's a bank of brand new batteries. So it's 320 amp hour domestics. They were new in June 2021. And there is a 100 amp hour starter. 70 amp alternator obviously that's all being topped up by the solar panels that I've already said about really good social space out here and there's a view from the helm there is also a tannel cover for the back to keep the rain off which is very useful at the moment as it really is coming down heavily eight of these bus style opening hopper windows glazed forward doors and glazed glazed forward bulkhead comes with all the relevant navigation equipment ropes pole hook fenders windlass hammer that sort of thing and there we have it that is amy rose for a fully downloadable color brochure the price and further spec go to our website at www.rugbyboats.co.uk